Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another op episode, rather, of Mobs World, aka Do Cakes Vivarium. And, uh, we've got some cleaning to do here. Uh, mainly in the fact, or in the area of trees, which, yeah, they're kind of a mess. You can get this stuff cleaned out of here. Uh, unfortunately, all I have on me is a stone axe, which is pretty pathetic, but it'll do. Uh, there was a slime down here somewhere. I don't know where he went, though. Oh, right there he is. Yep, sorry, you dumb slime, but I ain't got time for slime. Poet, and I know it. Except I was not trying to rhyme at all um as usual i have run out of inventory space because that's just what i do okay well as that continues to die down let's see about cleaning this tree up this can be such a pain oh yeah i don't have inventory space silly of me to forget that um actually i'm gonna need those Shove all this stuff up in there. I thought I had more than four leaves. That's it. Okay. Well, let's... It gets me up here, but not high enough to actually do anything. I'll just grab some of these other leaves here. And I'll just put leaves below me. And take wood out above me. That should do the job. So, yeah. um, Pretty much just boring stuff. Hey. Hey. Hey, you stupid duck. That was uncool. And uncalled for, I might add. Uh, man, this can take forever. And I don't have anything that's better. Good, 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 good. So the zoo's doing pretty good as far as building is related. Uh, everything's decorated up pretty nicely. I think it's time to really start focusing on getting animals in here. So I still haven't gotten a hold of Moon Kitten Builder or Dew Cake to see if they could remove those animals that were placed by Moon Kitten Builder for me. So I can get the animals into the correct cages where they belong. Um, I had somebody, and I do not remember what their in-game name was, but uh, YouTube username is HJCHJC. He uh, joined me on the server for a little while and uh, took a look at my vivarium and uh, he mentioned that I should work on the interiors of the cages a little more and give them, you know, some terrain, some landscape. You've got to be kidding me. So that's something to do. Where are those things even coming from? I don't get it. Oh well. Um, so yeah, that's something to work on. But before I can do that, I kind of need to get rid of the animals that I don't want that are in the cages where they shouldn't be. And get the other animals that I do want into the cages where they should be. Which, you know, totally everyday normal stuff here at the zoo. Nothing unusual about that. So, be expecting more of that kind of boring drudgery and monotony. Actually, I'll probably... No, that's probably something that would definitely warrant screen time. I said maybe I just do that off camera, but uh, I think that's something that deserves to be 
recorded. That's interesting. Something fun to watch rather than somebody going through and chopping down trees. Man, there's got to be a better way to do this. Like, this seriously just takes forever. See, now if there was like, oh, I don't know, chainsaw from Technic, this would take no time at all. But then you'd have to have the Technic mod. And everything that goes with the Technic mod. And that's uh, kind of not what the point of the server is, which is why we don't have that. I know there is a different mod, uh, tree capacitator or something that works in similar fashion as the Technic Chainsaw does and just chops down a whole tree with one click, which uh, I must say, I do rather enjoy those types of mods because doing this gets really boring really fast. And this tree just keeps going. I hope I didn't plant this one. I don't think I did. But if I did, boy, was I an idiot. Because this is just a giant mess to clean up. Pretty sure I didn't, though. Uh, let's test a little something out here. I don't know. Oh, that's weird. So... You've probably, well, maybe you haven't. I don't know. Depends on how much you follow my test development. Um, for a while, the sneak glitch was fixed. And you couldn't... Wow, it's giant. You couldn't hit the shift key to pretty much do like a double jump. And, uh, yeah, so for a while it was fixed and you couldn't do that. Because after all, it was a glitch. It wasn't ever supposed to actually work doing that. It just, it did because of bad code, I guess. Either way, the daily builds of it, of my test, had that removed. And, uh, unfortunately, some other bugs were going on in the daily builds, such as the inability to turn off chat. If you tried to turn chat off, it would turn off your HUD, actually. So, the, uh, you know, like your toolbar, if you want to call it that, where your, your hot bar, where all of your items reside, showing on the screen here. And uh, I think your, oh, I think your hand too disappeared. And it just, it kept being that way for the longest time. And I was like, I can't work like this. I need to be able to see that stuff for my videos. And I need to be able to turn chat off. So I have uh, actually just this morning, uh, I went ahead and built my own mind test. And by built, I just mean I compiled it. Not a big deal. Anybody can do it. Uh, it is way easier if you're on Linux, though. Just saying. If you're on Linux, it's about the easiest thing ever. You just download some dependencies and then run a little bit of code and it's done for you uh, in my case on my desktop which I think I've mentioned before is pretty beasty uh, it took just about a minute to build my test from source which I was pleased with that was a fairly quick build time uh, so I wrote up a bash script and I pretty much, ooh, every weekend now, we'll just execute that script. And, uh, yipes. I'll just run that script and it'll update my test for me. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It does everything. Um, I could share the script. I feel like there's already a script that's been shared on the forum but uh i suppose i could share my code too there's nothing special about it i mean literally all it does is pulls from github and then runs cmake to build so nothing too fancy about it but i guess the internet needs more 
redundancy, right? And what better way to make things redundant than by releasing my own version of code that I'm sure somebody else has already released? Because, I mean, why not? That's, that's what you do to become famous. Or better yet, and this is like my favorite, you make YouTube compilation videos that you put ads on to make money off of, and you didn't create any of the content in it, and to make it even better, you don't even credit the videos that you ripped off from YouTube to throw into your compilation video. Whenever I see one of those, whether I watch it or not, I always dislike them. Just based on the mere fact that they're stealing other people's work and monetizing it to make money, and all they did was download a bunch of videos and edit them together. And then most of the time, they don't even credit back to the original creators, which is just wrong. Like, if you're going to use somebody else's work in your video, at least have the, I don't know, the common courtesy to be like, yo, I got these videos from, and, you know, provide the link in the description. That's actually, uh, if you want to do it legally and, you know, cite fair use, you have to provide that. So as it's not fair use, it's theft. Because you're not giving any credit back to the creator. You're just stealing their work and making money off of it. Which is downright rude. Oh, I got so much junk and I can't fit it anywhere. I got all these saplings. All these leaves. Well, the leaves actually I can turn into... Uh, whatchamacallit, oil. So definitely do that. Because we all need oil. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't do that. Duh. And I can cook that into... Uh, unprocessed paraffin I don't know I can use it for some plastic sheeting and home decor or I can use it as fuel which is probably the better idea now, cedar cones I think can be cooked into aha versus cedar cone nuts nice so they don't restore a whole lot of health well whatever they're cheap and I got tons of them, so may as well do it, right? Okay, let's throw this backpack out real quick. Grab those out of it. Uh, I'll grab this wood, though I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it into my wood chest. But let's see. Some of these might already be in there, so I'll just be adding more to their stacks. But no, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's just horrible. Where's my chest of dirt? Throw that in there. Let's get rid of this cobble and stone. Oh, tons more leaves. Well, let's go ahead and turn that all into oil and then wrap this episode up. Let's do all of them. Ba -da 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 -dum. That's a lot of oil extract. Ah, oh, I can't turn them into sticks? Must be a different server. Okay, well, I'll just chuck all those. Oh, wait. And there. Already got 90 in. I should put my mailbox back out, but that can wait till the next episode. No big hurry there. Well, guys, that's going to wrap this episode up. Thanks for watching, even though there wasn't a whole lot going on. But next episode will be better. I'm going to start throwing some animals out, I think. And by throwing them, I mean placing them ever so gently and tenderly into their living spaces. I would never, like, throw them in a garbage can. That would just be cruel and inhumane, and the video would probably get reported and blocked, and ads would be removed, and all that craziness. Well, I will see you guys next time.